As you get ready to host family and friends for summer get-togethers, don't forget the tablescape. A beautifully set table adds that extra je ne sais quoi to your gathering. So, how do you go about creating one? You call on the ultimate tablescape talent, Miss Sarah Gunn. Come on in here. Hey, oh, I love that we're doing this. Uh, you have set many a tablescape over the years here on City Line, and today you're going to show us how to make an East Coast tablescape, which this is you. <laughs> this, this is me, I'm not going to lie. You know, um, I love setting a pretty table, as you said, and there's this big trend on TikTok the last few months called Coastal Grandmother. Yeah. And it's like pastels, you know, flowy sweaters, stripes, uh, shades of blue. I feel like it's me. Totally. My he whole entire have a life. Coastal grandma. I know. Yeah. I, yeah. So that's kind of what inspired this coastal tablescape, right? Beautiful. It's, it's fun. Okay, so uh, let's talk about how we would start. Okay, so let's start with your table, right? Yeah. So I love a rustic farmhouse table. This one is from Glamorous Events, mm. along with these really sweet wrought iron chairs. And I love the idea of renting furniture for an outdoor dinner party, right? Yeah. And then you're not worrying about lugging it in and out of your house. Someone brings it, drops it off, which is great. Beautiful. And then for a tablecloth, Trace, uh, they can be really expensive. Yes. And hard to find the right size. So I did something a little bit different, and I found this really cozy knit blanket. Oh, that's so smart. Right? And it Very feels smart. like a cable knit sweater almost, right? It does. Yeah, so I layered that on a diagonal. Yeah. Just for a different look. And then I layered on top of it the chambray look runner. Um, it adds that sort of coastal soft blue and this light denim, which I think really, really sets sort of a casual look. Gorgeous, and it'll solve the issue of the tablecloth that we all know has the wine stains on it. Like, just go get a blanket. You might have it upstairs in the linen closet, and it looks so good and chunky and nice. It's cozy. It's cozy. Okay, so now we have to start setting the table after yeah. we've got the beautiful linens down. And you're starting with these. Yes, I They're love. Gorgeous. I love these chargers. These feel like driftwood that you would find yes. on the beach. They're like that bleached out wood, which I think is really, really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then you know I love to use. Florals and everything. Do you? Oh, surprise! And, <laughs> and stuff I already have around the house. So I already this had these, gorgeous. and they're just a really pretty pattern in a floral, of course, in the blue, just to yeah. tie in with that coastal theme. Very nice. And then, you know, who says your salad plates have to be round? No I one like, says they have to be round. Well, they're not going to anymore because Good. I love the idea of introducing an unusual shape to your place setting. These are beautiful. These are really, really sweet. I think they'd be fantastic for like a little bit of an asparagus yes. situation on there yeah. or maybe a watermelon salad or something like that. I would say if I had these plates, then I would make the food match them. <laughs> We're doing asparagus because look at the plates I just got, okay? They're so gorgeous. Right? I love the fact that they're oblong like that. I think it's fun. Very and you nice. know, it's especially nice if someone else is cooking the food because you, you can just tell them what you want to have on there. That's right. Okay, let's talk cups. Let's talk glasses. glasses. Yeah, and so here, feel these. Oh, these are like lightweight and they're gorgeous. They look like crystal. Right, they're plastic. And they're nice. I love using outdoor glassware inside and outside in the summer. I don't think, you know, you have to follow the rules for that. And this yeah. little basket we've patterned on there really feels like a coastal summer feeling to me. So those are great. Love them. I don't know about you, but we're always using these like inside because they look very adultish, but then when the kids spill their juice, it's fine. Exactly. Right? They're not going to break anything. And these are gorgeous. Aren't these fun? Opaque blue. Excuse me. I know. Beautiful. I, I, they're so unique. I love these. Uh, these may come home with me. I don't know. They're and so good. these, along with most of the stuff you're going to find on this table, are from Winners. Yeah. And I just think they add that really nice pop of navy that you associate with sort of a coastal theme, right? And they tie in with the gorgeous. colors of the plates, which is great. Okay, lovely. So we've got the chargers, the plates, the salad plate. We need the flatware. We need the flatware. Yes. So I'm going with the gold here. I love these. They're really, really great. And um, there is a trick. Is there for, a roll here? There is. And okay. there's a trick for, for teaching your kids how to set the table. It right. hasn't quite kicked in with mine, but maybe you'll have better <laughs> luck than I did. Okay. Oh, I, I realize I've been teaching them wrong, actually. I taught them how to do it. It's all wrong. So you tell oh. us the right way to do okay. it. Okay. So fork yeah. has four letters. Yes, it does. So does left. Oh, so it goes to the left. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Knife and spoon. Yes. Have five letters. Yes. So they go on the right. And then you want to make sure your knife's facing in. This is the wrong <laughs> way to do it. So I'll just show you. I don't know if you can see over here, but if you have it like this, yeah. this, this is like, what does that mean? Well, it's just a little threatening, a little aggressive, depending on how sharp <laughs> the knife a is. Aggressive. It is. It's supposed to be like it's this. It's more polite to face it in. And then you want your flatware to sit an equal distance from the edge of your table as oh. well, just to create that symmetry, right? Very Downton Abbey. Right. Okay, but get out the measuring tape. 
but it looks beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it just completes the look. Okay, so we've got the flatware. What are we missing? Well, a little personalization is oh, really, really fun, okay? okay? Of course. So normally, you would put your napkins for a casual meal like this yep. on the left side of your place setting. But this is fancy to me. <laughs> this isn't casual anymore, but I love it. But oh, I made little napkin so boats, nice. and then I personalized them yeah. with these little uh, flags for the top. Sarah, these are gorgeous. They're really fun, right? Oops, yes. I lost a flag there. But There's no way I'm making French toast for this brunch. This is like <laughs> a fancy meal. This is beautiful. They're really, really this sweet. This is hard. Did it take you five hours to make it? Okay, you're about to find out because I'm going to make you do one with me if that's Great. okay. Yes, I, yes, I can okay. do it. I can do this. So you totally can do this. Okay, okay. so what you want to do is you want to have a napkin folded in a square. It looks so intricate though, but okay. Okay, you can do this. Okay. And then when you lay it on the table, you yep. want to lay it towards you so that it opens facing you. Like yeah, this. You got it. Okay. You got it. And then the first step is to fold in the top like this. Remember in class when you used to make those hats out of newspaper? Yes. That's basically what we're doing here with a napkin. Okay. So then you've got those in. Fold yeah. the bottom, the first bottom section up. Okay. Tuck it over. Tuck it over. Yep. And then yep. flip it. And then flip it. There you go. Yeah. Do the same thing. Okay. Flip that bottom section over. Tuck it. Tuck it. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to pick it up. Okay. And you're going to stick your thumbs inside of it like this. Okay. So it's kind of pointed towards yep. the front. Pull. Pull. Yes. Got it. Amazing. Okay, one more step. Okay. Fold the bottom corner up. Like this whole thing? Yep. Uh -huh. And then flip it over. Okay. Fold the bottom corner up. Yeah, we got a little triangle. And then you're going to put your thumbs kind of on those triangles you folded up. Like this? Yep. And like ready? That? Ready? Yeah. Pull. Okay. Yes. Okay. So and then cute. We'll stick a little flag in it. Stick a little flag in it. Okay. And you can just print those and do it on. That's I did it on a skewer. You oh, very it. good. Okay. All right, I'm going to take that one out of the way because we have one but more. But I'm so proud of it. Okay, but there's more. I'll save it. I'll save we it. We need a centerpiece. Of course we do. We do. We do. So I found these boats a couple years ago for Cooper's bedroom. They're oh gosh, driftwood, these excuse are beautiful. me. Beautiful. Boats from, yeah, from Tracy Aiton Home. She actually goes on the beach herself in BC and picks out these beautiful boats, or excuse me, pieces of driftwood, yeah. and makes these boats. And they are so adorable. Scattered wow. down your table like this. Each one's individual. And she even says, you know, if you shake them, a little sand might fall out, which I think is... That's beautiful. Like, I love that. The fact that you are supporting the makers, you are a maker and you support the makers, I love that. Try and see if you can find it, like a small business you can yes. support when you're looking for this stuff. Beautifully individually made. Before we go, ver something very exciting is happening tomorrow. So this is the premiere of your digital series, Tablescapes. And I hear you are taking Pretty to the next level. We know Pretty is your branding, it's your label, it's your thing. Tell us a bit about it. This is so exciting. So, you know, we're finally getting together with friends and family, right? Yes. To entertain and dine. So. I've got a new digital series along with Paul Lilikis. He's mm -hmm. got a series called Food, Friends, Family, where he's creating these delicious recipes for everyone. Nice. And then I've got a partner series called Tablescapes, where I style the table, where you can serve all that delicious food. So it's really, really Love fun. Love it. Leo just tried uh, Chef Paul Lilikis's Gravlax that he did on the show, and it mm -hmm. turned out amazingly. So now I have to step up and be the Sarah Gunn in the relationship. Yes. This is what I need to contribute because <laughs> I'm not making the food. It sounds amazing. I can't wait to watch. Catch the jewel premiere of Food, Friends, Family, and Tablescapes tomorrow only on City Line's YouTube channel. A ton of amazing.